everybody, how you doing? It's Jason from Jason's House of Fun and Video Games, bringing you today Thrift Time and Finds Volume 15. Yay! Holy shit. I am like mind blown that I have gotten 15 installments out of this, but I'm actually having a lot of fun with it, and I hope that a lot of you folks out there are too. So I want to give you, and I've mentioned this before, but I want to give you the main um, course of why I enjoy doing this. So I never did thrifting before the summer of uh, this past year, 2019. I found a video through, the man just hit over a thousand subscribers. So congratulations to Shark Tendo. Um, I saw his video, it came up as a suggestion on my YouTube and I was just like blown away. I was like, wow, this is really cool. This guy's an awesome guy, he's a genuine cool dude and the things he finds at the thrift are absolutely mind-blowing and i was like wow i could find cool things like that too and not pay an arm and a leg because you do pay a lot at regular stores and amazon and ebay and all that other nonsense so that is the reason why this series continues on because i'm having fun and go visit shark tendo tell him the house of fun and video games sent you anyway let's get to the video Good old Goodwill. Did we get anything good? We're going to find out. We don't need that. So, I may not. No, you may not. Let's get to the first thing. So, oh man, I'm super excited about this game. It's a GameCube game. It's Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. That's a tough one to say that 15 times in a row or three. Um, I've never actually really played any golf games, and I'm not going to start today because, wah, wah, wah. Mm -hmm. so here's the thing, this is complete other than the obvious, the manual is in pretty good condition, there's two reasons that this happened, one, we donated this way, but two, the obvious some meatball didn't want to pay a few bucks to the thrift and decided I'm going to pocket this game. And the games are so easy to pocket because they're so little. I'm going to leave the case behind. But anyway, I'll allude to why in a few minutes why I think it may be a case of the old shoplifting. But uh, pretty excited about that. So I think a discount. Yep. Moving on. We will go to... ATV Off-Road Fury. So what I noticed about this game is it says not for resale. Open it up. Right on the disc. It says not for resale. So this must have been part of like a two-pack or something around those lines. I'm not really sure what. I don't know much about it, but it looks like a pretty cool fun game to play. I'm trying to find new different things to play. Like I've got my obvious games and most people do, which they like. But... Figure I'd give it a try. Maybe I'll give it a review. If I ever get to the review of other things. Mm. And the plot thickens. Next game. Not really a game, but a accessory. But a game. Anyway, uh, I've never seen this before. You Draw Studio for the Wii. This does have a drawing tablet that I think comes with it. So this must have been put into a pretty big box. But... Unfortunately, it requires a U-Draw tablet. A U-Draw game tablet, sorry. I don't have that. This case is probably the worst case that I've seen. I don't even want to open this. It is complete. And as you can see, that disc ain't staying in this. So we'll find some game that I don't really want. Switch out the case and call it a day. But pretty good find. Never seen it. Second to last thing. Always looking for some new we you know, we nunchucks now. I never can run out of them. A lot of these will come corroded. The white color specifically is very dirty, just like white gets very dirty on anything, right? So as you can see, the dirt and the grime on these things is awful. Mm -hmm. There was some corrosion on one of these. The batteries are safely removed, <coughs> and we've got two more. Nunchucks, so pretty excited. Maybe I can get that peripheral working for House of the Dead. Somebody kind enough 
on uh, that video said that maybe the peripheral was blocking this part right here because I mean these things are pretty high tech but they can be sensitive so even if there's a little bit of blockage maybe that's why so maybe I just need to rip the front of it off and uh, try it out but anyway we'll get to that at some point check out that video if you haven't already it's pretty fun last and certainly not least I like throwing things Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 so if you don't know anything and it is complete can DVDs be complete well this one is because it has its card disc is in pretty good condition and look at that <laughs> that's funny found that another one of those tags and uh, the thrift on something else but I don't know just weird because it looks exactly the same um, this is uh, out of all three this is probably the one that I hear the most that people aren't that interested in don't really like for a number of reasons I can certainly understand I like a lot of stuff that most people don't like I can appreciate it because it's the turtles and how can you go wrong with that I'm not the hugest fan of this movie I've not seen this on DVD I've only seen it on VHS I think I still own it on VHS somewhere I got VHS stored away for a rainy day or uh, just because I haven't got rid of them but anyway pretty excited to add this to collection uh, I do have I believe these on blu-ray but I liked it and it's cool so now that the thrifting parts over we're going to include something else in the video as well a mini update to the game room so there's a specific reason why I had to do this and I will get to it and I actually think in the long run it was a great idea and we're going to get to that so let's take a walk over here and this is the first part of the update damn tape uh, you'll notice that some of these posters that I had here uh, didn't have here previously were somewhere else and I'll get into that uh, I'm pretty excited about this one I mentioned this before in another video this is something I saw on the internet it's one of those uh, cool little pictures of your Google horror or something like that so I mean those are all the the greats of the greats right um, got some House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects that was in the bathroom along with a few of these as well Friday the 13th Friday eight, and Halloween 2018 so uh, what else we got here we got Leprechaun now he's out and about you can see I'm pretty super excited. Does it make sense with the uh, turtles? No, but the turtles posters bring us to the almighty arcade one up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles machine. And hopefully, very, very soon, and I know I've been saying it for a lot of videos that we're going to get this up and running. But remember, those videos take me a long time. Cell phone videos do not, and time is never on my side. So, anyway, uh, moving on. Excuse me, Goodwill. Moving on over here. Again, some more posters. Uh, Escape from New York, if you haven't seen that, it's a fantastic movie from John Carpenter. Ghostbusters, Walking Dead, a cool Friday the 13th, but 3D. Uh, poster and then another walking in some other little posts I had in there as well. So the reason why I had to do this Is because we had a problem in the bathroom the bathroom is now stripped We had some uh, things coming up uh, out of the sink that weren't too pleasant So we have a block somewhere and uh, I don't talk about a lot of things in my personal life I always said I like to keep a lot of things private. I, I believe separating the worlds is a is a thing but uh, that I appreciate I'm sure you do as well at some point even though you want to know a lot about the content creator that's in front of you but uh, we're gonna get uh, a couple things done to the house we need to do some updates luckily recently Cynthia my girlfriend who's kind enough to hold this camera and shoot this video with me was kind enough to paint our room a nice white it smells nice and fresh and that is really main reason why we are updating because I haven't painted or done anything like that since uh, I can't remember and I'm not that old so it must not have happened right anyway here's the other big part so I'm super excited about this because of the way that you walk into the game room now it is introduced in the best way I could think I got my games over here 
my movies over there and my horror over here. So these are all Friday the 13th, all the posters. So these posters, I believe, are 11 by 17. A lot of them, at least the ones that I get, come with these plastic protectors. So pretty awesome and convenient, and you don't ruin your posters no matter how many times you move them, unless you're really silly. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street underneath, and of course, Halloween. Some of them good, bad, and different, just like any horror movie or anything in general. Um, these were already here. This one right here is a pretty special picture. It is of the great and late Heath Ledger. And that is from 2008, and that is from a Boston Metro. So that has survived well over 12 years, or just about 12 years. So pretty exciting stuff. It might have yelled over time, but uh, I'm a huge fan of Batman too. I'm a, I got way too many things to be a huge fan of, but I do thoroughly enjoy his performance in it. It was certainly Oscar worthy. So congratulations to the Joker. Up here, some of the posters I had before, Star Wars, I like my Star Wars, you know that. Uh, we've got uh, Episode 9, Episode 1, they're not kind of in order except for these. you got Episode 6, um, 4, what is it, 4, 5, and 6, yeah, so Episode 6, 4, uh, 5, and 4, so why haven't I gotten Episode 1, 2, and 3? Well, to be honest with you, I just don't have the room. I don't have the room. I've literally taken up all the realty space that I have in this place with uh, posters. So the posters game has officially been cut for now. I would like to eventually get an entire giant place from that corner to that corner and a whole big posters, games, stands, nonsense, everything. So hopefully at some point in time, we may get there. Um, but that pretty much wraps it up. So let me know in the comment section down below, what did you think of the finds that I happen to obtain from the thrift? What do you think about the game room update? Is it a great introduction to the actual game room where the fun begins? You let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, join the 32 other folks that were kind enough to take time out of their day to subscribe to the channel, because it means a lot to me. Also, hit that notification bell I wish it made that noise, because that would make everybody want to do it, because who doesn't like the one-up noise, right, from Mario? But anyway, notification bell, if you hit it, you'll be notified right away as soon as I bring one of these amazing or nonsense videos like this one, and you get it right away. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I'm extremely tired. I worked about 14 or 15 hours this week. Got some uh, big things going on at work as always, because in my world there's always something crazy going on and there's plenty to do and never enough time to do it. Kind of like in the personal life and kind of like in the tube of a billion views life that I'm living right now. This is why these cell phone videos are great. This is why I can get them out nice and quick, make a couple of very minor edits. And well, that about wraps it up. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you in the next video.